Here's the latest on xtalks.com. Researchers at St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital have pioneered the use of CRISPR gene editing as a therapeutic for sickle cell disease and other blood disorders. This is just the latest of many potential therapeutic applications of gene editing. Hello, I'm Sarah Massey, editor and webinar moderator for xtalks.com, and welcome to this edition of Xtalks Vitals. While both fetal and adult forms of hemoglobin are responsible for carrying oxygen in red blood cells, they differ based on their molecular makeup of four subunits. Adult hemoglobin contains two beta subunits, whereas fetal hemoglobin consists of gamma subunits instead. As sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia are both caused by mutations in the gene encoding the beta subunit, the symptoms of disease slowly begin to manifest themselves as the adult hemoglobin levels increase. Mutations in the beta subunit can impair the oxygen carrying capacity of adult hemoglobin, leading to red blood cell death and hypoxia in vital organs and tissues. Since sickle cell mutations do not have an impact on fetal hemoglobin due to the lack of beta subunits, this form of hemoglobin has the potential to effectively carry oxygen in adults. By applying CRISPR gene editing, the researchers sought to prevent the gamma to beta switch of hemoglobin in adults, thereby reducing the symptoms associated with sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia. When applying the CRISPR technique to the DNA of stem cells collected from patients with sickle cell disease, they were successful in stimulating those cells to express healthy fetal hemoglobin. Subscribe to the Xox YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and visit xox.com for more information on this story and others like it in the life science industry.